Okay, since I created a video clip for uh, uh, for the problem three on the yellow test, I will do the same thing for problem three in uh, the white test. Here is the the what the problem was. So we have to create this uh, mechanism where there is a if you think about it as a pneumatic uh, device which uh, extends and it makes this platform to to rise okay so uh, let me go ahead and do that <clears throat> let's start with the product file uh, file new product product okay and then I'm gonna let's make a base so insert a new part in there and I'm gonna call this thing the base so uh, properties let's call it the base and this is the base <coughs> and let's uh, make it okay so on a convenient plane on this vertical plane on that vertical plane I will sketch a, uh, just a rectangle there we are with uh, three holes so uh, this hole is for the pneumatic device and uh, these other ones are for that, uh, you know, the platform, uh, uh, the tilted, the tilted arms, which make the, the platform to to rise. So uh, something like that. All right, exit. And let's uh, pad it. Uh, so this is going to be my base. All right. So let's do the uh, the the floor, the floor that's going to rise. So. Uh, uh, insert, insert, or let me call it the horizontal platform. How about that? New part in there. Say no. And I'm going to change this thing to be right click properties. Uh, I'll call it platform. Platform uh, <coughs> and uh, platform. Platform. Okay, I'm going to make it. By the way, before I do that, I would like to measure the distance from the center of this to the center of that. So uh, let me let me actually go to the base and go to that sketch. It's easier for me if I easier for me if I go in dimension so that I don't have to actually measure it. So let me put a dimension from here to here. And it says five. Uh, all right, let me make it six, a nice round number. Okay, good, exit. All right, so now we go and make the platform. So platform, are we there? Yeah, on a convenient plane, on that uh, vertical plane, I will sketch. Okay, so uh, 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 how about uh, another rectangle? Let me make it a, bit, a little bit fancier than the rectangle, so something like this. How about that? Fancy enough? Okay, those two circles, six, uh, six inches apart. So here is one, and uh, another one, draw it here. Okay, so let's dimension it six inches from there to there. Six. Good. All right, so let me drag this thing a little bit. Excellent. <clears throat> All right, and then pad it. That's fine. Okay, uh, now you know what I should do is uh, go, go to go there and translate this in the direction y. Uh, yeah, because 
Right. Okay. Now let's go and make this slanted uh, slanted bar, slanted uh, uh, slanted arm. How about that? That's what it is on the left side. Okay. So uh, insert insert a new part in there, and I'll call it the uh, uh, properties slanted uh, slanted member slanted member and planted member oh, what is this slanted uh, member okay let's uh, make it so on a convenient plane for me a convenient plane is this uh, you know this plane front plane so uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, I'm going to project these two circles. Instead of drawing them, that one, see that, it's right there. And another one, which is right here. Okay, and then complete the rest of the, uh, the rest of the slanted member, which is really just a bar. There, yeah, you can make it nice and clear up. Okay, so I just want to make sure these two are parallel. Okay, so this control that can we make it parallel? Parallel, all right, and then if you want to make it uh, nicer, that control. This concentric, okay. Same thing down here. This control that also concentric. Very good. Exit, add it. Yeah, let me make it point, uh, point four. Okay, that's good. Now, uh, let me also go there and make a, make a little uh, uh, hole there because I want to use it later on uh, to attach the pneumatic device to it. So, uh, are we still there? Yeah, on that face, I will sketch. <coughs> I will sketch a little circle right there. Uh, right there. Exit. Sure, make a pocket. Good. Now, the other link slanted member can be just like that. Don't worry about this hole. We may not, you know, we don't, we, we might have it there, but we're not using it. So if that is the case, why don't we use this? Okay. You could, you can do copy and paste or you can save everything and then you go and say insert existing component. Oh, I don't know. Let, let's let me do copy and paste. So it's a copy and paste. So now I have uh, uh, I have two of them right there, and these are sitting on top of each other, so I can translate it. So translating Y, you can see that, okay? And then we're gonna clean it up and put it there. Excellent. Now. Uh, uh, why don't we do that pneumatic device now? So uh, that's basically a prismatic joint. So uh, I'm trying to see what's the best way of, of, of doing that. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead here and uh, uh, insert uh, two parts, okay? Uh, the, the, see, the pneumatic one, the pneumatic, pneumatic device is uh, basically two things that is moving with respect to each other. So I'll call it the uh, insert, 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 new part in there, say no. And I will call it the, the casing properties, call it casing, and ca casing and casing.
Okay, let's go make it. And basically it's very straightforward. On that face I will sketch. Cancel. Uh, on that face I will sketch. I want to project the, that circle. Instead of drawing it again. So that circle. And complete the rest of it. So here's the normal view. Uh, so let me see uh, what's the best way of doing this thing. Uh, maybe something like that. And we can clean it up. There. And there. Okay. And uh, how about uh, making it look nicer? This control that. These are unnecessary, but well, sometimes it looks nicer. Exit and then pad it. Uh, what's the size of this? Uh, Point, uh, but actually the easiest way is to say up to that line, okay, so that if you don't know the length, there we are, that, that, they'll do it, okay, good. And then uh, uh, the, the other piece, the other part, so, uh, which is go which is going to go on top of that, so insert, insert, uh, new, uh, new part in there, say no, and the slider, how about calling it slider, properties, slider, and slider. <coughs> and let's make it. Okay. So on a convenient plane, how about uh, on uh, this plane? No, I don't want that. So uh, how about uh, on this plane, sketch? Good. So let me draw a another rectangle. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, perhaps uh, a circle there. Exit, pad it, uh, point, uh, uh, I'll make it point 0.5, uh, I just want to know what is the length of this, uh, uh, point 0.4, okay. okay, so this one I'm going to make it also point 0.4, point 0.4. Excellent. Now we're ready to assemble these things. So <clears throat> let's go there. Uh, anchor the base. Okay. Move these apart. Uh, translating Y. Like that. Like that. And like this. And like this. Okay, let's put this thing in there. So we have a coincidence between this axis and that axis, and coincidence in this plane and that plane. This becomes a revolution. And it's updated. Good. Now, put this one in. Coincident between this axis and that axis. Well, if you're having a problem, just zoom in that axis. And coincidence in this plane and that plane is another revolution. Okay, let's put these things together. Uh, coincidence between this axis and that axis. And coincidence between this plane and that plane. And same thing down here. There's nothing to update because of the the way these things were already they're already in position. That and this and uh, this plane and that plane. 
Again, there's nothing to update because already they were in position. Okay, now here, coincidence between this axis. Uh, actually, this was selected. This last one, I don't want it. It was inadvertent, this last one. Uh, let me delete this. Let's try it again. Coincidence between this axis and that axis. And coincidence between this plane and that plane. And update. Okay, very good. Now, the other guy, this guy, is going to slide on top of that. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. So, coincidence between this plane and that plane. And coincidence between this edge and, uh, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay. It, well, let me, let me redo this. Uh, yeah, coincidence between this edge and that edge. Update. Okay. Uh, let me actually slide it up. So slide it along this direction. Yeah. See this? Okay. This is going to become a prismatic joint. <laughs> Unless I skip something. And then we put these two together. We can make this thing cylindrical. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be uh, uh, revolute. So uh, coincidence between that axis and this axis and update. Okay, good. I think we got it. Uh, let me put the front view to fool you that actually it is what I want. Okay, so we go to uh, generative uh, or uh, digital mockup, DMU kinematic, get the magic wand out. Where is it? There's the magic wand. New mechanism. Auto create. Okay. Uh, this is a single degree of freedom. So uh, I can write. So I can make that, for example, by make, making this length driven. This is a length driven joint. So the prismatic one, uh, this prismatic, I can make it length driven. And I go from zero, I don't know, maybe uh, one or two inches. Let's see what happens. Mechanism can be simulated. Uh, let me do that manually. Yeah. Okay, I can change the range here because... Uh, uh, this range that I put there was not uh, quite good. So let's go back here. And uh, in fact, let me change this thing to zero to that thing uh, minus maybe five. Okay. Let me try it now. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. So you get the picture? And uh, you can create a, you can create a, cartoon and everything but it's working it's working 